Clint. Hey, Jimmy. Jeez, man, why didn't you tell me you were back? When did you get in? Uh, two days ago. Look, Jimmy, I'd love to talk, but I haven't been able to sleep, and I really need to try and get some rest. My editor gave me two weeks vacation, and I want to spend it in a coma. So you don't know anything about what's going on in England? I've been in Baghdad for the last six months, so no. I don't know, and I don't care. We'll talk in a couple weeks when I've finished my nap. But... Tell Mom I said hi, Jimmy. Bye. Mahatma J. Gandhi on a pogo stick! Stop calling me and let me sleep! Quint, it's me. Damn it, Elliot. You gave me two weeks off. The war isn't go anywhere, so find another reporter. Turn on your TV, Quint. Why the hell would I- Trust me, you're gonna want to see this. <laughs> it's a virus. It hit London a little over a week ago. Thankfully, it's not airborne, but it's spreading like wildfire. What's the incubation period? Best case, 20 seconds. You mean days, right? 20 days. No, Clint. Seconds. This is end of the world bad, my friend. I'll be at JFK within the hour. I'm going to need two tickets. Two? For me and Derek. We'll assemble the rest of our team and we're on the ground and no more. Can't take Derek, Clint. He's not ready. Hell, to be honest, you're not ready. I'm just giving you the heads up because I know how pissed you'd be if I didn't. The only way Derek's going to get over it is to get back in the saddle. He didn't fall off a horse, Clint. He was a hostage. And it's time he stopped behaving like one. Close out his tab, please. He's done for the day. Come on, man. We gotta go. Duty calls. The only place I've gotta be is right here. <sighs> is that what Carl would think? What did you just say? You heard me. Don't you dare talk to me about Carl. I knew him better than you did. I was the one that had to watch. Yeah, you were. Still doesn't change the fact that he'd call you a whining schoolgirl if he saw you like this. And you know it. Be angry. Be sad. Be drunk. Hell, I don't care. Just don't be idle. So where does duty take us now? Afghanistan, Pakistan, I don't give a rat's assistan. London. I'm sorry, sir, but all flights to Heathrow are cancelled. What about London City Airport? Or Gatwick? The closest I can get to you is Stansted. We'll take it. How you feeling? Easy. Like Sunday morning. After a Saturday night of binge. <laughs> Just don't hurl until we get on the plane. Clint, are you guys on the plane? Not yet. The tickets you bought to London went bust. <laughs> They've shut down the city. You better move, get on that move, plane now. Out of the way. Our sources at Metro said they're thinking about canceling all Jesus international like flights run. in and out of JFK. Yeah, Elliot. I gotta go. And Derek. I'm two steps ahead of you. You can't film here! Hey! Get your hand out of my business! We're journalists. That's okay. I said, put the camera down. You gonna shoot me? Go ahead! Do it! Me, my newspaper, and the First Amendment of the Constitution will see your broke ass in court. Hey! Let's all just calm down. Give me that damn camera! Hands off! I'm not some raghead terrorist asshat. I'm a journalist! Get back! Get back! This is what happens when you deal in fearmongering! Damn it, Derek. Get it under control. We have to get to that plane before they shut this place down. What the hell was that back there? American fascism at its finest. Not the guard. That raghead garbage. Can we just get on the damn plane before we get trampled to death? Those tiny bottles of alcohol. I want one of each kind. My buddy here will have the same. I think we're all ready for a drink after that. Let me get people settled in first. I don't want a drink. They're not for you. They're allowed to sell each passenger only so many. Derek, I need to know. Are you in this? This is a huge story, and we're already late to the game. If you can't do this, I need to know now. 
You're asking me this after you get me on the plane? That was before you went all KKK on me. So, I've got a problem with Arab. You never did before. Yeah, well, things changed after one of them betrayed me and forced me to watch my friends get beheaded. That'll be enough of that crap. You're here because you're my friend. And you're the best damn photojournalist I know. But if you're gonna behave like a cretin, find something else to do. Maybe I should write my memoirs. Tales of a racist prick. I can't stop seeing it, Clint. I can't stop hearing it. I... Uh, I know, man. I know. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. But I think we're about to see a whole lot more of a whole lot worse. Thank you, Dr. Klein. And? Half this plane is filled with doctors. Most from the CDC. Now we know why they didn't ground our flight when the panic hit. I would also explain why there are three air marshals aboard. I know how to spot a guy with a gun. I'm also pretty sure a couple of the suits in the back are FBI. Feds? <laughs> Must have missed those. Guess they're concerned about a terrorism link. What did the doctor say? <sighs> Most wouldn't talk. But the ones that did aren't saying much. Other than the infection most likely originated in a London lab. So it is terrorism. There aren't any terrorist groups with that kind of medical know-how. This mess was homegrown. And here I thought we would be the ones to burn the world to the ground. Come on. Can't this plane go any faster? Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain. We're being instructed to redirect this flight to Frankfurt. We apologize for the inconvenience. We'll update you with connecting information once we know more. Frankfurt? What do you think that means? The impossible. It means they're shutting down the whole damn island. You get it? Yep, I got it. Good. We don't want to be late. Sure you don't want to stick around and watch more? It's fascinating stuff. We didn't spend a month fighting for French work visas just to watch farmers cull seagulls. Then let's get back to Germany. At least the food is better. <laughs> You're broken. Major Sanders. It must be uncomfortable for a man like you to be wearing civvies. Hell, son. I've been sweating in hazmat suits for weeks now. I almost feel naked if I'm not wearing 50 pounds of rubber. I'm surprised to see you out here. I thought you'd be stuck in New York. We got out right before the city went black. A thousand people trampled to death because a woman sneezed at the airport. I swear, the panic will kill more people than the infection. Is that why they're calling the seagulls? Panic? There haven't been any cases of avian transmission. At least that I know of. It's just local paranoia. You guys sure you want to do this? A whole country up and died. And no one is being held responsible. You're damn right we do. Then there are some things we need to get straight. No cameras, recorders, or notepads. And you should have your wills in order before we go. Where exactly are we going? The main island is still too hot. So we've got a black side in Newport on the Isle of Wight. We'll be using it as a staging area when we repatriate London. You're telling me the U.S. is effectively invading England? No, son. A U.S.-led NATO force is going to make London safe for its people again. And you think this is a good idea? If it was up to me, I'd burn every square inch of the island and then sink it into the sea. Guess it's a good thing I'm not in charge. The British military is okay with foreign soldiers on its soil? What British military? The last we heard of any soldiers on the mainland was that poor lot holed up just outside of Manchester. Well, we heard there were survivors. They were civilians. Three of them. Damned if I know how they made it. All right, boys. Helmets on. Stay close and don't talk to anyone. What is this place? Research facility. You wanted to see the infection up close? This is it. That man's infected? Not yet. His name is Ahmad Karzai. He's a member of the Crescent Jihad faction. The CIA has been sitting on him ever since we captured him. The same faction that captured you and your boys, wasn't it? Yeah. Wait a minute. Go back. He's a prisoner. And we're doing experiments on him? Yes, Clint. That's right. Legal issues aside, why? You said he wasn't infected. No. I said not yet. <laughs> Oh my god. What are you doing here? Just watch. I'm sorry.
Atari made your samples, but the sample was effective. Damn it! Sample? What sample? We're looking for a cure! <sighs> Get off of me! Ow! Major Sanders, get in here! Now, make it quick! They're only seconds! Damn it! I can't get to my gun! Boys! Get the hell back on that chopper now! And Clint, we're even! Don't ask me for any more favors! I'm not sure telling this story is such a good idea. People deserve to know the truth. What we're doing. In their name. Looking for a cure is an evil, Clint. You're telling me you're okay with what happened back there? That we're using people as guinea pigs? No, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little biased about the situation. It's more than that, Derek. You and I both know what repatriating London means. All of this is going to be swept under the rug with no accountability. And that means, eventually, it will all happen again. Okay, so we follow the story wherever it leads, which is... London. That's where we'll find answers. Okay, how? The last time we tried to fly in, we got stuck eating sauerkraut for a month. Don't worry. I have a plan. In a heartbeat. Huh. I expected at least a couple of cats. Usually the scary lady in the neighborhood has a few dozen cats. Sorry. Just trying to be funny. My name's Clint Harris. You mind if we chat, Selena? You're American. Of course I mind. Fair enough. We haven't exactly been amenable to Britain's plight, but at least give me some credit for not trying to fake a Cockney accent to win your trust. Let me guess. Another reporter who thinks he can use my story to win a Pulitzer. Well, you're half right. I am a reporter. But I already have more awards than I have space to put them. Besides, everyone's heard of the three worstly house survivors. I'm more interested in reporting things people don't already know about. You know, news. Look, I don't know how much you hear here inside the camp, but the world still doesn't fully understand what happened. Unless someone is willing to ask the hard questions, no one will ever know. The powers that be aren't telling the whole story, and you and I both know that if left to their own devices, they never will. What does any of that have to do with me? I have it on good authority that a US-led NATO force will start repatriating London soon. If I want answers, that's where I'll find them. So, I'm going to sneak past the quarantine into the heart of infected territory. I'm going to London, but I'll need a guide. Piss off! You're going to London! You don't need a guide, you need a vicar! Selena, not to brag, but I've been a war correspondent the whole of my adult life. I know what time it is. Most of the original infected will be dying of starvation, but there may still be some who are newly infected. That's why I need a guide who's familiar with the area, who can handle herself, and can think on her feet. I need a survivor. You. Do you know what I had to do to get out of there? Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I I'm sorry, I never should have asked. You, you think? Just... Just get out! Thanks for your time. <gasps> oh god, it's hideous! It's your birthstone. I know, but... Uh, <laughs> it's so ugly. Please tell me you at least like the earrings. Oh honey, I promised I would never lie to you. I'm glad you're finding all of this amusing. I'm just thankful you have better taste in woman than you do jewelry. I'm not so sure about that right now. Well, I do appreciate the thought. So you still love me then? That depends. Did you keep the receipt? We heard from our captain yet? Good to go. He'll be at Sunberg first thing in the morning. Let's make sure we have... Clint. I'm coming. Good. Why the change of heart? Does it matter? You've got your guide. Now what? Now I, uh, I introduce you to my team. This is Trina. Hello. Derek. And the one with the beard is Hirsch, and that's Acorn. 
Don't worry, Selena. I've planned this all out. A plan, huh? I don't do anything without a plan. We're flying to the southern tip of the Shetland Islands where we'll meet our supply boat. That will take us across the quarantine line. We'll use the Orkney Islands as cover to get us into Scotland. I thought we were going to London. We are, but Scotland is the only place on the mainland where the quarantine is weak enough to let us slip past. So your plan is to travel 700 kilometers through infected territory with this lot? I don't believe this. Let's get something straight here. We're not some fly-by-night outfit looking for our big break. We've reported from Afghanistan, Iraq, Serbia, and a dozen other war zones. So please, show some respect. You've no idea what it's like down there. What happens there. What you have to do down there. You're not ready for this. None of you are. My first time in Darfur, I met an 11-year-old boy who wanted to know all I could tell him about Michael Jackson. Everything. Even the unflattering stuff. The day after I left his village, Janjaweed militiamen came and buried the boy up to his neck. They forced his mother to watch as they stoned him to death just for talking to an American. There's nothing down there I haven't already seen. Whoa! What the hell? Clint, you may want to get up here. What the hell was that all about? Restricted airspace, turn around to be fired upon, yada yada yada. But airspace over the Shetland Islands isn't restricted. Uh, someone apparently disagrees with you. That's it, I'm turning around. No! We have to get on that island. Land us. Land us now! Mayday, mayday! We've been hit. Hemorrhaging fuel. Losing altitude. Mayday! What the hell are you doing? Bluffing. Now get us on the ground. Fast. We're landing. This part of your plan? Find out who was shooting at us, and why. I'll try, but there's a lot of chatter up there. Just give me something. We're about nine miles from Sunberg, give or take. Hirsch, head over to that lodge and see if you can find us a taxi or something. On it, boss. The rest of you get your gear off the chopper. I'm gonna see if anyone here knows what the hell is happening. Something's not right here. You figured that all out by yourself, did you? It's a ghost town because tourism in Europe went to hell after your infection hit. What about that young jet shooting at us? The only people traveling in this area are journalists. And right now, America's military ranks journalists just above syphilis and just below the French. Clint may be real impressed with your story, but just so you know, we here in this outfit are used to running towards trouble. So why don't you do what the man said, grab your gear, and stay out of our way until we need you. A little hard on the girl, weren't you? Look, I know about the Manchester tree and what she's been through. But that don't mean she knows anything about combat survival. Hell, she could have just been really damn lucky. So far as I'm concerned, she's a liability. And I'm not about to let her get me or mine killed. And? I can't find anybody. So if Hirsch can't scare us up a ride, we'll have to see if Derek still knows how to hotwire a car. Well, Hirsch is talking to somebody. Hello? Hey there. Hey buddy, a little help? Oh god! Hey, I'm not carrying your pack for you, prima donna. Hush! Get back! They're infected! What are you talking about? <laughs> Damn it, Hirsch! Run! Get him off! Get him off! Hirsch! D did he get me? Am I bleeding? You're fine, Hirsch. Now calm down. Selena. You okay? They shot at us because infection has spread to the island. What's your plan now? We can't stay out here in the open. We have to move. Now! We should probably get back to the chopper. Are you out of your mind? If we get back in that helicopter, it won't be firing shots. They fire at us next time. Get your hand off me, lady! It's alright, Derek. She's right. In there. Let's move. I need my camera. Leave it. We've got to go. He's getting closer! Derek, get up here and open this thing. Faster, man. Come on, come on, come on. Come Let's on, go! On. Everybody needs to shut up now and let me concentrate. Go, go, go! 
Uh, whew. <laughs> whew. That was close. I haven't had that much fun since. I mean, not really fun per se, but you know. Our supply boat will be in Sumberg first thing in the morning. We have to get on the road. Now. Now. It'll be dark soon. We don't travel at night unless we have to. The island is infected, which means my guy on the boat won't wait for us if we're not there. If we miss him, we are stuck here. That means we have to. I can understand what he's saying, Derek, even through the Yank accent, but it's still a bad idea. Why? Because it isn't yours? Enough, you two. We need a ride. Derek, you'll have to hotwire one of the cars in the parking lot. Take Selena with you. I'm not gonna... <sighs> Just do it. The more time we spend arguing about it, the less likely it is we'll make it to Sumberg before dark. Which one? The van. Not a lot of horsepower, but it'll have room for all of us. Okay, then I'll head to that tree there and use the embankment for cover. Watch the sight line coming from the far side. Oh my god. Those aren't soldiers out there. They're infected. Don't you get it? You're not hiding from gunfire. You're hiding from them. Let's go, Derek. Acorn, I'll need you too. The rest of you find a weapon of some kind and be ready. I'm getting really tired of her bossy attitude. Just roll with it. We're all in this together. And be careful. Yeah. Acorn, lock the door behind us. Not a problem. Stay on me. You get me killed, I'll make sure my ghost taunts you. I'll be the first. Now let's go. See anything? Yeah. Go! Don't you dare let it get! Shut up and hurry! More coming, come on! Almost. Got it. Got it. Derek! Derek! Let us know when they're here, Acorn. Find some weapons of some kind. Will do, Clint. Uh, Cheerlick should do the trick. There's got to be a gun hidden away in an office or something around here. I'm fine with a good stick, Ash. So let's not. Wait. You, you hear that? What the hell are you doing? It sounds like someone's hurt. Don't you think we should help? Uh, no. Well, it's kind of my job. So let's go. You have a flashlight? No. This is a monumentally stupid idea. Derek is going to be back any second. Hello? Are you hurt? Ah! Hask! Hask! I... I think I found the service elevator. Are you alright? Yeah. I, I landed on... I don't know. But it's soft down here. Hold on. Let me use my camera flash to help you see how to climb out. Hask! Oh god! Help me up! Hurry! Um. Oh god! They're climbing! Go! Go! trying to draw them away from you. It didn't work. Yeah, yeah, I know. But you're alive, so stop whining and get in. I swear to God. Bitch me out later. Get in the back and get ready. Why? We're doing this the easy way. Hey, where are they? They're in the building with us. We gotta go. Why are we running? No time, just move. Acorn, open the door. Um, but Derek is... Just do it! We have to back up. We we can't go that way. No time to argue, just... Move! Inside, now! In, 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 in! Drive, Derek! Oh, shit! Thanks. Be faster next time. Oh, damn it! That hurts. Whew. You could probably use some stitches. Yeah, but all my supplies are with the helicopter. Were you bitten? No. I just caught my foot on the broken glass. Did any infected blood get in the wound? Eddie at all? Selena, I'm fine. Trust me, I'm a field medic, so I know a thing or two about bloodborne pathogens. I'm not infected. Randall, come up here and help me navigate. Derek rubbing you the wrong way? You could say that. Well, don't take it personally. He can be pretty gruff, but he's a good guy. And a man you want on your side when things get rough. I wouldn't be so sure of that. When he was embedded in Iraq, some newbie journalist he didn't know got him and his crew separated from their unit. The next day, they were found. 
by insurgents. By the time his unit caught up with them, Derek was the only one who hadn't been executed yet. Is that supposed to endear him to me? No, just understand. You're not the only one with trust issues. Hey, Clint. We're here. What do you think? Looks empty. So did the last place. Yeah, but we don't really have a choice. Pull up as close as you can. Alright, folks, we're here. We're gonna go in, make sure the place is secure, then hunker down for the night. What about food? I'm starving. Let's see what we can find inside. Now let's go. So we're alone. We're alone, right? Uh, looks like whoever was here left in a hurry. Let's find a room with a view of the dock so we can see when the ship arrives. Hmm. This'll do. We should move some of this furniture against the doors. Just in case. I'll look for some candles. Hey, hey, look what I found. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to ante up. Let's have it, folks. Cash, cigarettes, candy, whatever you got. What are we playing? Texas Hold'em. Come on, Derek. Get over here so I can rob you blind. I didn't leave you. Selena, I was honestly trying to help. Mm. Do you really care if I believe you? Yes. I may be an ass, but I'll be damned if anyone ever thinks I'm the kind of guy who leaves someone behind. Sorry for scaring you. Hey, Selena, come join us. What the hell are you looking for anyway? Derek already found the good stuff. Grain alcohol. What kind of cocktail are you going to make with that? A Molotov. Deal Selena a hand. I'm sure she's got something in that pack she's willing to part with. Okay, Selena, and test with her homemade bomb. Trina, the bet is to you. I'll bet my camera. Randall? I'll raise you a pair of $500 aviator shades. Clint, where's Hersk? He went looking for a pair of shoes. He doesn't really want to walk all the way to London with only one. Derek? I raise you my lucky compass. Seriously? He's bluffing. He has to be bluffing. Call me and find out. Your bet, Selena. That's a pretty pair of earrings you got there. Yeah, you'd look real pretty in them too, Derek. Well, what's your bet? All in. Ugh, oh, I'm out. Oh. Take it. <laughs> Suckers. What did you have? Nope. You have to pay to see. You didn't pay, you don't see. Huh. Help! Please. A, a little... Help here. I thought this place was empty. Oh, are there any more? Hush. Did you see any other infected? Hush. Trina. I... I'm infected. He... He bit me. Oh... Oh God! Maybe it's not that bad. Maybe it's. I'm sorry, Hush. Hold on a second. Wait, what is she doing? No, we can't. don't know. Stop! Wait, wait, no! <laughs> She's Stop! killing me. Stop! She's... You murderous bitch! I'll kill you for this. You do you hear me? Ow! What the hell did you just do? He was infected. How could you be sure? You crazy! Back off. If someone is bitten or infected blood gets into their system, they are gone in a matter of seconds, and it spreads just as fast. If I didn't kill him, he would have killed all of us. This isn't a game. We're not in Afghanistan, and those aren't insurgents. The rules are different here. You have to be willing to kill anyone, anyone, to survive. And if you don't accept that now, you're as good as dead. Now get ready. More on their way. Derek, we need more of these. Make wicks from the curtains or any tablecloth. What about using the bar rag? No, we need those for something else. And don't use anything that isn't at least 160 proof. Randall, you and Trina get that table up against the door. We've got six hours until dawn, and we need to make this room as secure as possible. I need you to- I'm going to see to my friend you just killed. No, you're not. You're going to stay away from his body, do you understand me? I'll be damned if your sentimentality is going to get me killed. Go make sure everyone has a bar rag. Trina, come give me a hand with this. Trina? Keep away from his body, he's infected. Why do you care? Because I don't like to kill people when I know their names, Trina. Now get it together. What are the bar rags for? To put over your mouths. Helps keep infected fluids from getting into your system. Randall, you might want to put your shades on. Is that what your mask is for? No, it's a bloody fashion statement. What do you think? What are you doing? You might only see an infected, but Hirsch was our friend. We'd rather not stare at his hacked up body. Or is this supposed to be part of your survival lesson? What now? We wait. Let's just hope our boat gets here before the infected do. That's not what I meant. I meant about her. 
I thought you were starting to take a shine to her. Yeah, that was until she pureed Hirsch. But as angry as I am about that, she wasn't wrong. No, she wasn't. Still, we're gonna have a problem. You know about Hirsch and Trina? Yeah, but Trina's a pro. She knows Selena was right, no matter how hard the choice was. I'm not so sure. Everyone here is tweaked. We're all scanning the sight lines, watching and listening for any sign of infected coming in here. What's your point? Trina isn't. She's not looking out for infected. She's watching Selena. Hey, Trina. How you holding up? Don't. Just don't. Normally, I wouldn't. But we aren't in a normal situation right now. Hirsch was my friend, too. And if you think this doesn't bother me, you're wrong. But we've both seen video of infection. What it does. And how fast. Selena did the right thing. I need you with us, Trina. Okay, then. I just wanted to help people. It isn't fair. Anything? They're coming, don't worry. Can we say the same thing about your boat? Your Yank army doesn't want anybody coming to this island. Don't you worry about that. They'll be here. I just came over to tell you to watch your back. Trina's taking it pretty hard. Hirsch was a good kid, and he deserved better. If he deserved better, then he should have stayed home. You said we have to be willing to kill anyone to survive. Did you ever have to kill a friend? I'm alive. What do you think? Who? Ah, oh, crap. Get those bar rags over your mouths. They're here. Why don't they stop? Please. Make them stop. Don't let them scratch you. A scratch? Anything that breaks the skin will infect you. Help Clint hold that door. Move. On your right. What about the Molotov cocktails? Not yet. We need them for cover when the boat gets here. I don't think we're going to make it that long. Trina, help us. Hurry. This is for Hersk. Ah! What the... Get off! I take it this isn't the last of them. No! Is everyone okay? Is anyone hurt? No. Selena was bitten. I saw it. Kill her! Oh god. Sorry, Selena. Trina Ugh. bit me. What? What? That's a lie. <clears throat> I saw one of them bite her. I'm not infected. If I was, you'd know by now. Besides, it didn't break the skin. That's why I wear leather. Okay. Just hold on. Back off, Clint. You want me dead, bitch? Do you? Then have the guts to try and kill me to my face. We don't have time for this. More are coming, and the boat's here! Derek, grab the cocktails. Hurry. Now, Derek. Go, go! Don't tie off. We're coming aboard now. What the hell is going on? Holy shit. No time. Help us up. No! We're on! Get us out of here! Now! We knew they had the island shut off. But damn! Yeah. I think I should talk with the captain. Looks like your shirt took most of the damage. Yeah, look, Selena. I... What? Nothing. I'm fine. Phillips, you have the wheel. Clint, you scoundrel. What the hell have you gotten me into? Harlan, you have no idea how happy we are to see you. I was a little worried you wouldn't show. As far as anyone else can tell, we're just another Navy boat on patrol. But we need to make some distance before someone takes a closer look at us. How we looking, Derek? It's all here. Food, vitamins, video equipment, all-weather gear, and most importantly, enough firepower to make Charlton Heston's corpse get up and dance. Here, good old American craftsmanship will work better than that machete of yours. <sighs> I'm British. I wasn't born with the innate ability to fire a shooter. Point three fifty seven Desert Eagle with a nine-round clip. Eject clip with this, pull back to cock, safety's here, and you just point and squeeze. I'm going to hold on to my machete, just in case. It won't run out of bullets. Don't worry, neither will we. We've got enough ammo to choke a herd of buffalo. When we make landfall, I want to get us some B-roll. We just need to make sure our satellite link is up and running so I can dump it to the server. It'll take a while, though. It looks like you guys made sure to bring everything but the kitchen sink. I told you. I have a plan. We're stocked for just about any eventuality. I can tell. Just one thing, how the hell are we going to carry all this stuff? Or did you forget to put that into the plan? Uh... Clint! You need to get up here! I've got good news and bad news. Good news is we just passed the quarantine line. So what's the bad? Take a look. 
Yeah. That is bad news. They're trying to hail us. What do you want me to say? Nothing. If they board us, we'll never get there. If we run and they catch us, they'll take my boat. I owe you, Clint. But I don't owe you that big. Besides, I don't think their intention is to board us. These guys don't mess around with the quarantine. They'll give us one chance to turn around and that's it. <laughs> you said you could give me their Harlan. Now damn it, just do it! We might be able to lose their boats on the Orkney Islands, but don't hold your breath. If they fire on us, I'm turning around. I lost a man getting here, Captain. So I don't care if those gunships make you wet yourself. You're getting me on that damn shore. Are they gonna shoot at us? I don't see why they wouldn't. They shot at my bird, didn't they? Everybody grab a vest. You wanna abandon ship? No, but people in life jackets are defenseless victims, not radical journalists hell-bent on breaching a military quarantine. You really think this will make them leave us alone? I don't know. But it might give them second thoughts before firing at us like they did the helicopter. But the camera will probably make them want to shoot us. It's the whole reason we're here, Selena, and I don't like missing shots as great as these. Don't worry, Harlan's the best civilian captain there is. He'll get us there. <laughs> No offense, but Clint's planning hasn't been exactly bulletproof so far, so this captain better be as good as you say he is. They're turning back. You sure? They might just be waiting for us on the other side. No, they're not shadowing us. Then get your crew ready. We're hitting landfall in two minutes. All right, get ready. We need to have everything offloaded the second we hit shore. Let's move, people. Any good shots? Nobody's got an eye like mine. That's what I like to hear. Where'd the boats go? Don't know. Don't care. As long as we... Oh, no. <gasps> Clint? Derek? Anyone? Trina? Trina? Trina, are you alright? Are you... Clint! Where the hell are you? Clint! Damn it, Clint, answer me! Clint! Talk to me, buddy. Tell me where you are. Derek! Somebody answer me! Ah! What's that? Derek, it's me. Selena? Is that you? Yes. Now calm down. I feel something on my leg! It's just a piece of the boat. Now calm down. Where are you? I'm right in front of you. I can't... I can't see you. You got a lot of blood in your eyes. Don't panic. It isn't fatal, but we have to get you to shore. God, this salt water stings. Derek, listen to me. I need you to swim toward the sound of my voice. Don't leave me, Selena. I won't, but you have to swim to me. You're getting too far away. I'm only a few meters in front of you. Keep swimming. Selena. Clint, are you okay? I've got a nasty ringing in my ears, but other than that, yeah. What about the others? <sighs> we need to get out of this water before we get hypothermia. Clint? It's okay, Derek. We'll get you fixed up when we get to shore. But we gotta swim now. I need to get out of this water. I can't stand it anymore. Damn it, get me out of here! Hang in there, Derek. The shore is only a few yards away. You can swim that, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't stop talking. You want me to sing? Recite a poem, maybe? Yeah, anything. How about Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner? You're a bastard, Clint. <laughs> don't you forget it. All right. Come on, Derek. We made it. Uh, they've got choppers and boats searching the wreckage. We need to move farther inland. Once we find a safe place, we'll try and bandage you up. They're coming. Who's coming? Chopper. Don't move and they might not see us. That sounds like a Black Hawk. Yeah. But it's moving on. We should too. We need to find some kind of shelter and get dry. Unless pneumonia sounds appealing. This will shelter us from the wind, but we'll need a fire. What are we going to burn? There aren't many trees here. 
No, but there's plenty of grass. Just find what you can while I get Derek cleaned up. How bad is it? Don't know yet. I'm going to have to clean you up. But my only rag is soaked with salt water. It's going to sting. I don't care. Just get this crap out of my eyes so I can see. Mm. I'm not sure fire's such a good idea. If those choppers come looking for us again, they'll see it. We need the heat, Clint. And no one's looking for us anymore. As far as anyone is concerned, we're all dead. Ah, uh, damn. What's wrong? <sighs> I don't have any matches. Don't lose it. It's the only one we have. How do you feel? Like I'm made out with a blast furnace? Cuts aren't very deep. They shouldn't scar. At least it's getting warmer. Is the sun coming out? <sighs> Clint just started a fire. What? Where? I can't see it! Just relax, Derek. Your eyes are in shock from the explosion. You need to give them some time to heal. I'm going to see if I can find something to bandage you with. I won't go far. If you need anything, shout. Just don't go too far. I won't. How's he doing? He's blind. How do you think? He's terrified. Yeah, but you said he just needs a few days to heal. I was lying to him to keep him calm. His retinas are fried, Clint. He'll never see again. Which means we have to ask a very difficult question. And which question is that? What are we going to do with him? Just what the hell are you saying? I'm saying that surviving here is going to be hard enough without having to babysit a blind man. So you want to leave him behind? Or do you think we should do the merciful thing and just kill him? I know you're not fond of the guy, but I won't allow you to murder him! I am not a murderer. What I'm trying to say is that we need a plan if we want to keep us and your friend alive. A real plan. Not one of your seat of your pants circle jerk plans you've concocted so far. I'm going to get us to London, but we all need to be on the same page as to how we're going to do it. Uh, you're right. But our supplies are gone. The food, the weapons, everything. I've got a handful of power bars and some vitamins in my backpack. As for weapons, I have my machete. And this. We have a thousand kilometers to go with no food, no shelter, and only your machete and a pistol with nine bullets to protect us from infected. Basically, we're up Ass Creek without a paddle. Yeah, well. Welcome to Scotland, 